Well, 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 another PlayStation State of Play has been announced after Jeff Grubb himself said something was coming and people doubted him and the community was going back and forth. And then you had Xbox fanboys teasing PlayStation fanboys. You guys don't get any fan service. PlayStation has announced that a State of Play is going to be broadcasted. It's Thursday, May 30th. That's the day after this recording. And it got the whole gaming community at a buzz. Some people are happy. Some people are disappointed. Some people are in a state of shock because they can no longer clown <laughs> other fanboys. But what do we think about all this? What does I? What do I, MM2K, give give any hoots in regards to any of this? Um, very interesting stuff that I'm going to combine with something else that we've heard earlier today, which was mind blowing. You know what I mean? But before we get into all that, it is, yes, your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where we talk about the latest and greatest in the biggest gaming news of the day. I do it unscripted. This is all from the top of the dome. No, I am not Drake. I don't need reference tracks. No, let me stop. Let me stop. Drake fans, do not be mad at me. I'm just joking. No, this is all from the top of the dome. And this is either going to be viewed as separate VOD or a precursor, a pre-show going into our intro podcast. So make sure that you stay tuned towards the end of this because you will see a card that will take you directly to that podcast if you're not watching this live. Okay. With that being said man oh man oh man this is some crazy stuff so just within 24 hours right we had a whole bunch of news in regards to xbox um and uh regarding call of duty and call of duty coming day and date to game pass then them confirming through jeff Keeley of the game award show that no they're not going to be putting call of duty day and date in a specific tier game pass it's coming to all the normal tiers of game pass that a new xbox game would come into question still remains is there going to be a price hike but that's an old another show i don't want to take too much time talking about that we talked about that yesterday check out our videos yesterday in regards to call of duty um, black ops 6 being announced that being said yes so we got to give credit where credit is due. Jeff Grubb did announce this, even though people like myself asked, why are we still listening to Jeff Grubb? I guess this is why. But before we go any further, I want to show you guys something. Here we go. So this is the tweet from PlayStation. It says, State of Play returns with a 30 plus minute broadcast this Thursday at 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 11 p.m. BST. Um, tune in live for updates on 14 PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2 titles, including a look at the PlayStation Studio titles arriving later this year, which is supposed to include Concord. We're going to go over this in the main show again. We'll have tiles at the end of this to take you to the main show if um, this isn't if you're not watching this live. Um, when this is premiering but state of play returns this thursday it says when you go to the link state of play is back tune in live for updates on playstation 5 and playstation vr 2 titles plus a look at playstation games arriving later this year the 30 plus minute show features 14 titles as they said um and they give you information on the co-streaming and all that other stuff so it sounds like to me that what's going to happen is you're going to hear about games like Wolverine and all that other good stuff, right? And that's awesome. There's something else that I do want to show you guys real quick if I can find it because it's very, very relative to this. And hopefully you are a member on MM2K Gaming and you've watched our member stream that we just did preceding this again if you're watching this live what the hell am i talking about i am talking about this this tweet from hip-hop gamer which again i know that people are like hip-hop gamers this crazy stuff and you know and i i don't know all of this quote-unquote crazy stuff that this guy has said in the past but i can tell you like as of this gen this dude has been spot on let me show you guys this so he says some stuff like and we talk about this in this member stream that 
Uh, the Halo game is coming to PlayStation. Xbox next machine will be more of an open platform. Uh, Microsoft gaming AI impacts the new PlayStation 6. And it's just a whole bunch of stuff, man. And again, because of his track record so far this generation, he talks about things years in advance. People laugh at him because it's not around the corner, but then it ends up happening anyway. Like everything that he said that was happening at the beginning of the generation, it's already happened or there are signs of it coming to fruition. So I'm going, I mean, you take this with a grain of salt because it is a report. It hasn't been confirmed from the companies themselves. But man, oh man, this is serious. Now, what does this got to do with this state of play? Well, in this video, one of the things that he talks about is some big partnership between PlayStation and Rockstar in regards to GTA 6. And he says it's particularly surrounding the PlayStation 5 Pro. All right. It's particularly surrounding the PlayStation 5 Pro. And I'm here to tell you that if that means that the PlayStation 5 Pro and GTA 6 are working together in regards to performance, um, because we know GTA 6 is not launching on PC. It's launching on consoles. And if that means that the PlayStation 5 Pro is the only way you can get GTA 6 at either 60 frames per second or, or plus 30, like really in between, I would say if it's 45 frames or higher, that this thing hovers around. Um, particularly, you know, I, I think for them to see maximum success, it would have to be between 50 and 60, you know, with it targeting 60. I'll just put it like this. To simplify it, if GTA 6 targets 60 only on the PlayStation 5 Pro, PlayStation 5 Pro is, is flying off the shelves. It is flying off the shelves. Now, here's the flip side of this. Many are not too pleased with this news why because they're like oh man this is only a 30 plus minute show and they're only giving us updates on 14 games like we don't know what's coming this is not some long drawn out showcase where they're really giving us in-depth sight insight into what's coming this year playstation is running dry this is going to be weak you're hearing this from playstation fans which again i gotta give my flowers to jeff grubb because jeff grubb predicted this as well here's my thoughts um i am cool with there being a showcase i think we're pretty familiar with the fact that as far as first party titles are concerned the only games that are coming first party that we know of is Concord. If we get any other badass titles out of first party or any other exclusive content that is being revealed here that's bad badass, not some game like Stray, nothing against Stray, but you know what I'm saying? But you know, something at least badassery as far as like Hell Divers 2 is concerned or a AAA title that we didn't know about, that's a W. And if that is true, what Hip Hop Gamer was alluding to, and that's being shown at this showcase, Oh man, that's going to be crazy. So take it all with a grain of salt. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited for it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I told Cold Blood yesterday, I think PlayStation cannot go without showing something. And if they're showing us Concord, if they're showing us more content that'll appeal to us hardcore gamers that we didn't know that was coming at the end of the year, I think that's a win for the platform because they already had the, a hell of a first quarter coming into this year. Any A couple more titles would just make it another uh, very good year for PlayStation. Also, one more thing that's happening too with PlayStation is that, uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, wow. Matt Piscatella of Circana um, slash NPD dropped another NPD report. And not only did PlayStation dominate again, you know what I'm saying? First place in sales and units sold, but look at the PlayStation games that are here that are dominating. Stellar Blade is number one. Hell Divers is number two. All right. Um, we also got MLB, MLB The Show here. We got Rise of the Ronin in here. And what else? And then we got Marvel Spider-Man 2. I think there's like a total of six PlayStation uh, games that are here, either PlayStation exclusives or PlayStation um, studio games. That's phenomenal.
Cold Blood's gonna have to give me my flowers. He was talking that crap about PlayStation gamers being too much of frauds and they sold more Sea of Thieves than Stellar Blade. We'll see. Will he give me my flowers? I'm always giving him his. We'll see. We're gonna be talking about all this on the show. If you're watching this live, just stay tuned. If you're not watching it live and you're watching it as a VOD, a separate V, oops, what is that? A separate VOD, then what you're gonna wanna do is definitely check out the car to the left that's popping up now and watch the podcast. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Till next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.